What is up, guys? Bass Needs Texas back here with episode four of the uh, Big Swim Bait series. Me showing y'all how to fish these big swim baits. And I know I've been posting a lot and haven't been doing that much fishing lately. That's because I haven't been doing much fishing. I get out next week for Thanksgiving break and I will be doing fishing. I will be showing y'all some of the uh, tube rig videos, how to fish those, and I'll be throwing some big swim baits for y'all. So y'all just, y'all bear with me here and I'm gonna get back to fishing, I promise y'all. But let's get into this episode. And this is what I'm going over the uh, big weedless swim baits. These are great for summer and fall and a little bit in spring. Whenever them fish are up shallow, in the grass, up in the cover, and you want them big pigs that are up there in the grass. So for a quick size comparison, this is what a lot of people consider a big swim bait. This is a uh, five inch Berkeley Havoc sick fish. This is the biggest size you can get in it. This is a really affordable swim bait. I do recommend these. These are like $3 a bag and I'll catch a lot of fish on them, catch a lot of numbers on them. This is their uh, Gold Rush color. I like more of their uh, Light Hitch, I think is the name of it. This is a great cloudy day color. Catch a lot of them on this. And on the uh, on the uh, Light Hitch color and that clear water on sunny days. This is what a lot of people consider a big swim bait. I get weird looks for throwing this one right here. Keep in mind, this is a five inch swim bait. This is the one I'm doing the video on though. This is a uh, eight inch smash tech uh, convict. This is a eight inch smash tech convict swim bait, weedless convict. For quick size comparison, and there's the uh, sick fish right at the very nose. And there's the convict. You can literally sit the sick fish on its back and it would ride there. This is a flat top. This is not a flat top. This right here, it's gonna look probably a little more natural just because all the extra fins and stuff where this one right here doesn't really have that many. Got a couple of them down here to help it run a little bit better. Other than that though, this is the big boy. This is the biggest swim bait I throw as of right now until I finally get my swim bait gear in. But as far as also on conventional gear, this is the biggest one you're gonna be able to throw. This one weighs in right at about two and a half ounces. This is a 10 alt owner beast hook. This is the biggest one hook I do believe they have. They might have a 12 alt, can't quite remember. Uh, I mean, this is a great big fish swim bait for whenever they're up shallow. And it's not to say you won't get big fish on this one. You'll get a lot of five pounds on this one. You don't get as many five pounds on this one, but you get more six, seven, eights, and nines on this one. And you'll even have that one or two brave two pounders come after this one. I've had it many times before over here on Lake Gilmer, on Lake Bob Santlin, Lake Monticello. And then top of lakes, you'll see a two pounder run up to it and then engulf it so much that the actual tail will get caught up in their throat before they can even get it hook. It takes a big fish to eat this swim bait. So that's why you're gonna get big fish on it. One thing I highly recommend getting for these swim baits is because they are hand poured soft plastic and that's mended. It. it does retail for about $12, but I mean, it's some really good stuff. It, all it does is actually, you know, it's in a, uh, almost like a nail polish body. You pull it out there, you know, use a little brush that it comes with, rub it on right through there where your hook is, where it's tore up, and it'll actually melt the plastic back together. It'll be just like new. I gotta get me some more because I actually dropped mine in the lake the other day. I'm not gonna talk about that. It's for a different video, different day. But some really good stuff to help keep these big swim baits going, help you catch a couple more fish. Places I'm gonna throw this since it is 100% weedless, I'll actually throw it everywhere that's 10 foot or less. I'm gonna be throwing this up in the middle of grass beds, skip it up underneath the docks, bring it right up through brush piles and right up next to the docks and all around the edges of rocks. It's like, cause I know it'll get through it. I mean, look at that. It's got a big pointed nose, a big old 10 alt weedless hook. There's a big fish around, he's gonna hit it. They ain't gonna be able to resist something this big, threatening their territory. They're gonna come smash it, I promise. Rod, reel, and line. It's gonna be a uh, seven foot, extra heavy rod. That's what I use. 65 to 80 pound Power Pro braid, and a five two to one or six two to one gear ratio. Usually you're not gonna be burning this one, but you're gonna be doing more of a uh, slow retrieve with it and you're gonna 
that you also want to strip out as many years and stuff. Actually, I just saying that a reel I recommend for cranking, I do not recommend it for this, will be the uh, Revo or a winch. Do not recommend it for this. I stripped out the gears and went on the other day and now the drag won't even work. Just keep that in mind. The reel I use right now is uh, it's a Revo S, I think. I don't know, I have to, I'd have to go look. I don't have it with me right now. But, this is a big fish swim bait. This is a leather big fish swim bait for a tournament. This is not really for a tournament. In a tournament you're looking for five fish, unless you're fishing a big fish tournament like the KYKX tournament, which everybody around here fishes. This is pretty good for that fun that big fish. If you're hunting for a stringer tournament, Fishing out here is probably going to be more in your ballpark. You get more bites on this than you will this. You get bigger bites on this than you will this. More bites on this one. Go. Uh, when to fish it in the fall time, whenever they're up shallow running them big shad. Sometimes in the summertime, you find them schooling on big shad out in some grass flats and stuff. And in the springtime, whenever they're really mean, trying to protect them eggs, you drag this over with a 10 pounder's bed. She ain't going to be able to just let it sit there on her bed. So hey guys, uh, be sure to go out and get y'all some eight inch Smash Tech Convicts, Owner Beast Hook, 10 alt, and some uh, 65 to 80 pound braid. This has been Bass Nice Texas, and I will catch y'all on the lake if y'all like and subscribe. I'm kidding, but be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all on the lake.